What's up everybody, it's your boy Sebia Melendez and I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna get into how you can become a better photographer or how you can learn photography almost instantly. Let's get into it. So the tool that we're gonna be using to basically almost learn photography instantly or to become a better photographer is this. Yep, a film camera. Now. If you don't have any experience with film cameras, don't get like scared about it, you know what I mean? This is basically, this is probably the best thing you can do to become a better photographer or how to learn photographer if you're starting off. This is fully manual, so there's no autofocus, there's no uh, auto exposure, and you only get 24 to 36 shots. And I think that's the most important thing, and we'll get into that. Now, the film camera you choose, um, some of them, or majority of them, will have a light meter on it, which will help you adjust the exposure uh, using, it's hard to see here, but there's a little needle that helps you basically select your shutter speed and aperture that you wanna shoot at by lining up the, the needle with the meter. And this will give you a properly exposed image. So you're learning basically the fundamentals. The only thing that you're not learning is the ISO because you're gonna select that when you choose the roll of film that you choose. And that's gonna be basically on the entire film so you can't change that. There's different kinds of films with low ISOs and higher ISOs. Um, so what you're gonna be learning is shutter speed, aperture, uh, properly exposing uh, the image. Another thing that you're gonna be learning is that you're going to learn to focus. And manual focus is very, very, I mean, it's very important, you know, because I think today people are getting very lazy because of the, you know, the systems that we have, like, you know, the new mirrorless cameras have like amazing autofocus and which is amazing. But as you progress into the realm of photography or cinematography, you're going to be utilizing different cameras, different tactics. And one thing importantly, if you're going into the cinema stage, you're going to be using cinema lenses. And using cinema lenses, there's no autofocus. It's completely manual. So it's important for you to learn how to manually focus. You know, you're gonna be manually focusing either with your hand, a follow focus, or a wireless uh, fire follow focus system. Now, so you're learning shutter speed, aperture, properly exposing the image, you know, selecting the ISO of your film. You are learning to manually focus because there's no autofocus. And then the most important thing is you're getting 24 to 36 shots only. Now this doesn't mean you can just pick up the camera and you go spray and pray because you know that's how that's what people do now. They get lazy. With digital cameras now, you can take a thousand, a million photos. It doesn't matter however much the SD card can hold. But basically, people just go out and they just shoot. They just they just pick up a camera and they shoot however they want. But that doesn't make you think. That doesn't force you to think about the composition. When you only have a limited amount of shots, 24 to 36 shots, you have to think about every single frame or that shot is gonna get wasted once it's properly developed. So 24 to 36 shots, when you're, going, when you're out in the field, you're gonna take a photo, you need to think about, oh, I don't wanna waste this shot because I wanna make this count. So you need to think about the composition. You know, Do you want this angle? Do you want a different angle? Do you want a different angle? Maybe you need to move the model a little bit this way. Maybe you need to shift the light that way, or maybe they need to step a little bit forward. You're using the rule of thirds, you're using leading lines. You're just thinking about the, the final composition so you get it perfectly right the very first time. And this is gonna make you think and become a better photographer almost instantly. And you're gonna see, it pays off. When you see the final product, it just looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to show you some examples um, with this specific camera that I have. Um, this is a trip to Oregon. This is uh, this is actually my mom. We were in a flower field, but basically, this is film, and this just looks absolutely amazing. I think it just looks ten times better than digital. It's, there's really nothing like it. And you know, picking up a film camera is really it's just. It's not a lot of people do it these days and, and it has its own like organic and authentic feel, especially if you're taking photos for someone and you're going to hand them a physical copy of the image. They're going to love it. You know what I mean? Compared to just sending them the file online. It just, it's very, it's a little bit more heartfelt. So I think this is, uh, you can't even really see it, but 
basically, I think it's just an overall an amazing tool to make you a better photographer. Or if you're a beginner, it really pushes you. It really forces you to learn everything about the camera and how to learn to do photography. And then you can translate that into cinematography. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while because I've been really busy with music videos, but promise I'm going to be more consistent and um, hopefully next week I'll get back to you with another video. All right, guys. All right. See you next time.